thank you very much, everyone. So good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are located in the world. So I just want to carry on from where Paul left off there, really, um, and just focus on a demonstration of the authentication capabilities in digital persona, but specifically talk about how using a PAX credential can be, well, a PAX credential can also be used to authenticate to a Windows workstation. So I'll just talk you through the setup here. So what you can see on my screen, on the left-hand side, basically is a Windows 10 workstation. On the bottom right-hand corner of my screen here, you can see there's a camera pointed at my desk. I've got several different PAX cards. I've got an OmniKey 5022 reader on the desk as well, but it doesn't actually need to be an OmniKey reader. So basically it's any NFC reader is supported and the vast majority of PAX credentials are supported as well. So just to show you what it looks like from an end user perspective, I'm just gonna lift the curtain here. And you can see that with digital persona installed, it's prompting me to authenticate using a contactless card. So all I'm gonna do is place the card on the reader and you can see there that I'm granted access to the workstation. So it really is that simple. I can use that card to get into the office. I can use that card for follow me printing. I can use it for cashless vending. And now with the addition of digital persona, I can use that exact same PAX credential to gain access to the Windows workstation. So I'm just gonna show you what the enrollment looks like from an end user perspective. So I've showed you what the authentication looks like but the user can actually enroll their own cards. So as I alluded to earlier, this workstation has the digital persona client installed. I'm gonna to go to the credential manager and Paul was talking about the broad range of credentials that are actually supported. But today, like I said, I just wanna focus on the PAX credentials. So if I click on the cards here, I can authenticate with the contactless card that's currently on the reader. And you can see here that this is actually an iClass card that is currently on the reader. I can actually delete that and Digital Persona will automatically detect the next card that's on the reader. So I can cycle through a few of these, these different credentials in front of me. So you can see here, if I put this card on the reader, that is a MyFair standard PAX card. If I take that card away from the reader and put another card on the reader, you can see here, this is actually a hotel room key. So we actually support any physical access credential. And of course, there are differing levels of security with the different credentials you know, a standard prox card where we can maybe read information from the card but not write to the card would be a lower level of security. So as you can see with this one, we can enroll you know, a basic contactless credential, but with the more advanced credentials, such as a CIOS, a MyFair, or an iClass card, we can actually write to the card itself. So this is a HID CIOS credential, and we can just enroll that. So by uh, laying the card on the reader, I can click enroll, that all of those PAX credentials will be supported straight away out of the box. So I've just enrolled that credential again. I click lock on the workstation. I've removed the card from the reader, otherwise it'll authenticate me straight away. Next time when I come back to my workstation, put the card on the reader, I'm granted seamless access there. So at the moment, what I've really demonstrated has been from a convenience perspective. So allowing the user to use their physical access credentials to not only get into the building, but also gain access to their laptop. Obviously, a lot of our customers have requirements around multi-factor authentication. So there are various uh, compliance requirements where organizations would potentially be required to implement a multi-factor authentication policy. So what we can actually configure on the server side is using a physical access card in combination with any of the other supported credentials. One of the most popular choices being a PIN. So what I'm gonna quickly do is just configure a two-factor authentication policy where the user provides a card and a PIN. I'm gonna click apply on that. I'm gonna go back to the client. Normally this would apply automatically to the workstation, but because it's a quick demo, it, it can normally take a few minutes to apply. I'm just gonna give it a bit of a nudge so that that applies straight away by doing GP update force on the workstation that can download that new policy from the server. And once this is applied, I'm just gonna lock the workstation again and show you how I've managed to update the authentication policy in, well, I think you saw how long it was, less than a minute really. So let's lock this workstation again. And then I'm gonna put the card on the reader. So you can see here, I get a green tick on the contactless card. 
and now it's prompting me for a pin. So it's prompting me for that second factor of authentication. So I'm going to enter the pin here and I'm granted access. So this is how we can very quickly increase our customers, our PAX customers, return on investment that they've made with PAX technology. So we can go into them and uh, go into the account and say, right, you've already made an investment on a on a CEOS physical access control system for your building. How would you like to reuse that card for your employees to gain access to their workstation, to their laptop, to their desktop computer? So I think at that point, uh, that concludes the demo really. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet, show you the main use cases for a, for a PAX credential. And I'll just hand over back to Paul at that point.